What's up guys, Tyler Casey here with Cinepax and today I'm going to show you how to get these Super 8 effects right in Final Cut Pro X. This is actually using our Super 8 millimeter effects over at Cinepax. This is one of our paid packs. Unfortunately, we do not have a sample pack of this version, but we do have a bunch of free packs for you guys to download and check out. But today I'm going to show you guys using the paid pack how to get these effects, these film burns, these overlays, and this classic looking film look. So this is what comes in the pack right here. Let's go through it. So you get film burns, you get frames, you get grain overlays, you get some LUTs, some sound effects, and some stills. This is the link to the tutorial section of our site. So if we go through here, we have with and without the sprocket. So with the sprocket looks like this. You have this thing right here and that is the sprocket. If we go back into without the sprocket, it's cropped in and it has no sprocket. That one's hard to see because it's on black. There's one right there, no sprocket, you just get the film burn. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna import all this stuff right into Final Cut. So now that we have everything imported, the only thing that can't import is the LUT, so don't worry about that. So the first thing that we wanna do is we actually just wanna grab one of these overlays. So there's quite a lot of different overlays in here. There's also these overlays, these are the PNGs. So when you actually look at the PNGs, you can just overlay those right on and you don't have to do any work and you get that overlay look. So that's super cool. There's a quite a few different ones of those. The PNGs are super simple to use. They have that nice border. You can also use these with the film burns. So I'm gonna show you how to use the film burns right now. So let's say I want this one with the sprocket. So you can also use these with the film burns and transition. So what we wanna do is we have this with the sprocket. So we see the sprocket right there. Then what we wanna do is we wanna grab a film burn. So let's play one of these film burns, that's perfect. And we're gonna drag that right on top. So we can see the film burns right there. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna click that clip and come over here and we're actually gonna change the blending mode to screen. So I just scaled it up just a little bit to try and get that sprocket to match perfect. And now when we play it, we get a nice film burn. So that's one of the easiest ways to do it. And then we also have these really nice film overlays if we scroll down here a little bit. So we actually filmed on an actual Super 8 camera and captured all these overlays for you guys. So they're all natural and they're all straight out of, they're all actually, they're all captured on film. So this one's pretty cool right here. So I'm actually gonna grab this overlay right here. I'm gonna delete that right there, the PNG overlay. Those are more simple. The one with the white, we wanna change that blending mode. We wanna change it to darken or multiply. So I'm just gonna duplicate this clip out a few times just to have it running the entire clip. One thing that we can do now to add to the film look, we already have uh, the moving overlay, so we get all these cool like textures on the side. We can add some of our film grains. So we have all different types of film grains. We also have uh, sound effects right here that you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and drag on this extra grain right here. What we do with this is we're gonna put it right under that layer and then this one, you actually want to change it to overlay. So what this does is this adds some really nice film texture to it. We actually filmed on film cameras. So film texture is a little bit different from digital noise. This has a lot more texture to it and gives it more of that filmatic look. So if we play this now, we can see that we have all these cool scratches and hairs and flickering going on. It gives it a really nice look. The grain, you're going to want to use overlay. Any of the film burns, you're most likely going to want to use screen. Anything with the white, you're actually going to want to change that to darken or multiply so like this you want to change it to multiply so you can actually see through it so if we want to add some color to this let's grab our custom LUT and let's go ahead and drag this on and then you can actually select from some of the LUTs that we provide you guys with one of our LUTs and then it helps sell the uh, effect that it was shot on film so we can actually duplicate the top and bottom the way the film actually feeds on a super 8 camera this is a little bit more difficult and it's up to you if you want to do this if you don't like the top and bottom i would recommend using the one i would recommend using the four by three with the sprocket and it doesn't have the bottom but you can easily duplicate this so i'm just going to cop clip and i'm going to paste it and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to overlay it actually i'm going to overlay it right on top of it then i'm going to want to come over to here and and I'm gonna actually transform it. While holding shift, I'm gonna drag it down and I'm gonna drag it right on that little line right there. Perfect, and I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna put one more on top of that. Stack it up on top of each other. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to transform. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna hold shift. I did not hold shift. I'm gonna hold shift while I'm dragging up just so it doesn't move out of place. And we want that one right on the bottom. So now when we play that, this is how it should look. 
and we have the top and bottom and it's feeding through. So we also included some film sounds for you guys that you can uh, put under your footage. And there's also some stills in here that you can use however you want, whether it's in like Photoshop or even in here as well. Another cool thing that we include in this pack is another PNG. And this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna delete all this stuff. I guess I can keep the film grain. And that is this PNG. It's a little three split PNG and it's really cool. You can drag out the PNGs as long as you want them. They're already transparent. And what's pretty cool about this is we can just scale down this clip right here and we can move it over. There we go, right about there. And we can transform it. We can move it all the way over here. And what we would wanna do is we would just wanna crop off the edges a little bit. So I just wanna trim off this edge right here and then we can play it and we have him in a little box. We can easily do the same thing. I'm not gonna grab another clip. I'm just gonna grab the same clip and we can drag him into the next box right next to him so i could just and i could just drag him over into this box right here you could put any clips you want in here you can put all three and get creative with it so that's pretty much it for the super 8 effects if you guys enjoyed this video consider subscribing drop a like down below let me know if you guys have any questions we're going to be dropping a lot more final cut tutorials if you guys do want to pick this pack up make sure to use promo code cine5 at checkout i appreciate you guys watching i'm tyler casey with cine packs i'll catch you guys next time thanks